Hey guys, welcome to The Fix. After Halo Infinite was revealed at E3 this year, many were wondering whether it was a spin-off or a prequel. Well, now we finally have an answer. 343 Industries has confirmed that Halo Infinite can be considered as Halo 6 rather than a prequel or a spin-off. Lead writer Jeff Easterling said, It is Halo 6. You should just consider it Halo 6. Don't think of it as a weird prequel kind of thing. It's the next story. It's the next chapter in what is going on. In Halo 5, players took on the role of both Master Chief and Agent Locke. However, Infinite will focus primarily on Chief and will continue the story that we saw play out in Halo 5. This game will be utilizing the new Slipspace engine, which debuted in the E3 trailer. We've had a ton of games come over to the Switch, and here is one that may be joining in soon, Overwatch. After the confirmation that Diablo 3 would be headed to the Switch this fall, Blizzard's senior producer Pete Stilwell revealed the potential of bringing Overwatch to Nintendo's latest console. He said, Anything is within the realm of possibility. Our team was given the task to work on this. If Overwatch developer Team 4 picks up the endeavor, that's on them. As of right now, Diablo is our only focus on the Switch. StarCraft 2 releasing on the Switch was also discussed, as StarCraft 64 did bring the franchise to the Nintendo 64 back in 2000. Unfortunately, that may not be likely, as the port will be difficult. You know, nothing bothered me more than Inception's ending. The top just kept on spinning, but did it fall? Well, it only took 8 years of waiting, but we finally know. During a Film 4 summer screen showing of Inception, Kane revealed what Christopher Nolan told him about reality and dreams in the film. He said, When I got the script of Inception, I was a bit puzzled by it, and I said to him, When is it the dream, and when is it reality? Nolan said, Well, when you're in the scene, it's reality. So get that. If I'm in it, it's reality. If not, it's a dream. Due to Kane being in the movie's highly debated final scene, this shows that it was, in fact, reality. It may be possible what he was told isn't necessarily the full explanation, but until Nolan speaks out, this is the resolution. I hope I'm not dreaming. Alright, that's all for today. Today is Friday, so that means no more fix for the weekend. But don't forget, you can catch more news and daily fix on our website, c.igen.com, as well as our YouTube channel. Alright, see you guys Monday.